Greetings folks, coming to you today from downtown Sonoma at the plaza, which is right in the center of town. What we're looking at now is City Hall. I just finished walking around this building and it's really amazing to see that all four sides of this building are exactly alike, except for the flags and the clock in the front. I just walked around to the back to verify that and sure enough, that's the way it is. And there is a story behind that. Apparently the builders wanted all of the merchants on all four sides of this city hall to experience the same view. <laughs> okay, I've just never seen a building like that. This is a lovely town square, very inviting a place where there are a lot of events, art shows, all sorts of gatherings. I'm gonna give you a slow pan around. There's a playground up there. And as I mentioned, there are merchants, restaurants, wineries, galleries, all sorts of things on all four sides of this plaza. It's a place where people come to walk, bike ride, shop, meet up, and just hang out. Let's take a quick walk around. The visitor center used to be the old public library, but here's a place where you could get all sorts of information about what's going on in Sonoma County. Across from this fountain, which I believe is called the Italian Fountain, is the Sebastiani Theater. That's a great little place to see movies, especially on the weekends when they have a matinee. It's a very ornate building inside. There's a cafe and a bakery and restaurants, wineries, galleries, and many little shops of all types. There's little alleyways you can explore and find all kind of little hidden shops. And there's even a stage over here. There we go. Lots of seating. I have listened to music here in the past. In fact, I was here recently and listened to a gentleman busk on his guitar and he was very entertaining. Of historical significance, the Bear Flag was raised here June 14, 1846. And here is the statue that commemorates that. The Bear Flag Revolt was something that happened by Americans at the time who were revolting against the Mexican rule. They declared California a republic, raised the Bear Flag, and then about a month later, that bear flag was replaced by an American flag. Right across the street is the Mission San Francisco Solano. This is the northernmost outpost of the historic Mission Trail in California and south of the border. Across the street from the square is this sign Sonoma State Historic Park, and it encompasses many historic buildings. This area was first populated by the Native Americans. The Spanish missionaries in the 1820, I think it was 1823, started establishing their mission here and later that was taken over by General Vallejo and turned into a more secular settlement. Here's the remainder of the servants' quarters. Apparently General Vallejo had quite a few servants and many of them were Native Americans. There are several other old buildings in this courtyard. 
The building over there is the kitchen for the Toscana Hotel. And here we have a carriage house with a late 1800s peddler's wagon. The Toscana Hotel was originally a store and a lending library. Now just a historical site. You can hear a little music of the era through these doors. I like that little quilt. Game of cards, anyone? Next door to that are the Sonoma Barracks. This is where General Vallejo housed his troops. This looks like a dining hall. And here's a theater with a movie. Oh, cool. I'm gonna have to stop back and watch that movie. Here's the courtyard. Looks like an interesting old oven over here. Yep. I wonder what the specialty was. <laughs> and a big barbecue pit and a fire ring. There are tours you can take here and there's a museum. Docents will tell you more about this place. There's even a second story to the barracks. Okay, I've never seen the doors to this part of the museum open before, but they're open. Lots of history from the Mexican rule, and before that, the Spaniards, and then the Americans. And, you know, even way before all of that, the Native Americans, up to the present day. I think that movie would be very informative. He and his wife, Venetia, built this home for the declining year. Over the years, that's General Vallejo's home. Behind all those buildings is a big parking area. And behind that parking area is Depot Park, where this morning I see a group of people and I think they're playing bocce ball. And nestled in this corner of the park is the Depot Park Museum. Yes, there did used to be a railroad here. There are some remnants of the old railroad. And even a couple of railroad cars. This museum is open on the weekends. And I'm going to wrap up this video by mentioning there is a terrific walking path here walking and bicycling. It's paved, it's flat, has some very interesting sites along the way, historical sites, General Vallejo's home, and lots of beautiful natural sites. And with that, I am going to say thank you for coming along with me on this tour through the Sonoma downtown plaza and just a couple of blocks beyond full of history, way too detailed for a little video like this one, but very, very interesting. And maybe someday you can explore it for yourself.
Until then, take time to wander, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.